Shall we play a game? Wouldn't you prefer a good game, our chef? Hi all, David Vandermolen here with Make It Hurts on the campus of the Citadel Military College in Charleston, South Carolina. We are in the lab putting the final touches on SmartPour, an automated home beverage dispensing system designed to bring ease of use to the home craft soda or beer drinker. The SmartPour system has been designed and developed over the last eight months and has progressed into its first prototype. This complex system incorporates the ability to adapt to a seemingly endless amount of beverages and kegerators, monitoring temperature, adjusting pressure, calculating and determining dispensing amounts, and even tilt and pour your beverage at the optimal angle. In order to accomplish all of these tasks, components had to be tested separately and then integrated into the centralized unit that is the smart pour. Hi, I'm Joshua Kerr, and I've been leading the implementation of smart pour subsystems using a microchip PIC-18 F8722 microcontroller. The configurable I.O. ports serial communication, analog to digital conversion, and the ability to implement low and high priority interrupts made this microcontroller more than suitable for our system's requirements. Smart pour has been designed to receive data through RFID communication using a load button. The beverage type, CO2 concentration, ideal temperature, and tilt sequence are all loaded into the system in this manner using a parallax serial RFID card reader. The idea is a manufacturer can create a beverage, have information loaded to an RFID card, and this data would automatically input itself into the system when scanned. This allows SmartPort to adjust to any beverage on the market. It also allows the system to compare ideal values with current values so that temperature and pressure adjustments can be made if necessary. Hi, I'm Joshua Decker. As you know, temperature, pressure, and carbonation levels are key aspects in providing a quality beverage. However, what the average person does not realize is that as temperature changes in a carbonated beverage, CO2 can either be leaked or absorbed. This causes head pressure changes because a keg is in a completely sealed environment. It would be nearly impossible for someone to constantly monitor temperature and adjust the pressure regulator to the ideal pressure for their circumstances. Our Microtrip TC1046 temperature sensor constantly monitors the temperature and converts a voltage signal to a digital signal that is in turn used to adjust pressure. Craft soda manufacturers and brewers all use this temperature, pressure, and carbonation chart when creating new beverages and determining appropriate values from it. The Smart Pour has this chart embedded within its code. The SMC pressure regulator receives a voltage signal that is determined using the temperature sensor, RFID data, and a Motorola DAC OAPP digital to analog converter. This voltage signal corresponds to an appropriate pressure based on the beverage's CO2 concentration and current temperature. This device also contains a built-in pressure sensor within the feedback loop, which ensures that the desired pressure is always maintained. Even with constant monitoring, adaptability, and pressurizing to optimal conditions, a smart pour would not be capable of the perfect pour without a motor control system. Tilt sequences that are loaded in through RFID communication are used to change the system to pour a specific beverage with the perfect amount of foam. Some beverages require the standard one inch, while others require very little to none. The Smart Pour implements an easy driver motor driver. This allows us to micro step the stepper motor and allow for a smoother rotation. This motor is housed in the lower compartment of our system and attached to a D rod that runs a full width of the cradle system. When the start button is pressed, the motor system turns on through the relay board. This sends a signal for motor direction and begins rotating the motor through pulse width modulation. For our prototype, the motor initializes the pour sequences to begin at an optimal 45 degree angle. As the beverage is dispensed and pulses are counted by the flow meter, a signal is sent to the motor driver to change the direction and return it to its original position using the pulse width modulation. So each beverage will have its own tilt sequence and therefore require the motor to return to its initial position at different rates.
Monitoring the flow of a beverage as it is dispensed through the smart pour is important for safety as well as quality. Smart pour monitors a start button and when pressed, opens a deltral solenoid valve through a same smart relay board. Since the system is constantly under pressure, a beverage is forced out of the keg and kegerator into our tower and through a flow meter. Our system uses an Adafruit flow meter. This device is connected to an internal interrupt and calculates the flow through a Hall Effect pulses as the beverage is dispensed. As a predetermined amount of pulses are counted, a flag is set and the solenoid valve closes. These pulses are also used to decrement a counter which will illuminate an indicator, letting the user know how many drinks are left in the keg. As with all components and subsystems of the smart port, testing is imperative to ensure proper functionality as each system works in tandem. Before beginning to dispense beverages, safety issues were addressed. We designed a cradle system with a built-in glass sensor. The sensor halts any operation until a glass is positioned within the cradle. Additionally, a moisture sensor is housed within the catch tray underneath the cradle system. This sensor halts any dispensing and even shuts the system down if spilling occurs during a pour. The tray is designed for easy removal and cleaning and effortlessly slides back into place and plugs right back in. Each of these devices were designed and 3D printed specifically for use in Make It Hurts smart pour system.